Keeping kids in the classroom and the germs out. Several school districts plan to let kids return to in-person learning in the coming weeks. And today, a Kansas City company is giving 41 Action News exclusive access and insight into how they're helping to stop the spread of COVID-19. This does matter. Uh, it matters a lot to us, and it, it, this is the single most popular question we're getting from our clients. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield takes us behind the scenes on this big project. The last couple of months at the Raypex School District have been all about planning how to keep students and staff safe. We were looking at a whole gamut of, of options. Including improving indoor air quality. The district is now letting in more outside air, changing air filters more frequently and increasing air filter filtration rates. The higher the rating on the air filter, the more efficient it is at catching particles in the air. But they're not the only ones making changes. This is definitely a post-COVID idea. Henderson Engineers gave 41 Action News exclusive access on its latest project, retrofitting its industrial HVAC system with ultraviolet light in order to kill pathogens that drift upward in tiny airborne particles. So what it does is clean the air with each pass. So as the air goes from the space through the ductwork up into the air handler, it gets uh, clean, disinfected, and then gets put back into the space. The FDA says ultraviolet radiation is a known disinfectant for air, water, and non-porous surfaces that has effectively been used for decades to reduce the spread of bacteria. Henderson is engineering ways to add these UV lights to existing HVAC systems rather than having businesses replace them, which could become costly. What we're trying to figure out as an industry is how do you do this at scale because um, everybody's interested in it now. So coming up the tools to be able to size it quickly and repeat the, the process over and over again. The goal, provide businesses, hospitals, and schools with another layer of protection. Our superintendent has a phrase, plan and adjust. And that is definitely something that we've been doing is um, we'll see what the latest information is. And if it's something that we can implement to increase safety, for our students and our staff, then we'll try to implement it if we can. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.